two solar panels here. Giardi, if that's how you say it. Um, that's a three panel. Then we've got the Goal Zero. It's a two panel. Um, this one puts out 18 volts. I think it's a 21 watt. <clears throat> so, yeah, 18 volt, 21 watt. But it's got the out for the DC 18 volt and then a USB. Uh, what does it say? The five or nine? I can't quite see. It. And that's what I'm going to use to charge my battery pack, which I kind of like. It's got pros and cons. I'm finding out here. Um, Paxess um, says portable solar generator, but it is not solar powered. You can charge it with a solar panel. Um, you have your DC uh, side here, your input, USB ports out, and then your AC on this side. You can plug right into it, just like you're plugging into a wall. Down to three bars, I'm going to throw it on the solar panel, but you can change it from DC to AC. And it also can be used as a UPS. Um, so if you have it at a cabin or at home or whatever, plug it into the wall, into here, and then plug whatever you want on the other side here. So if you have a power disruption, this will kick in and keep power on wherever you do. A lot of people use it for CPAP and stuff like that. So I'll be hooking this up soon. The sun's just coming up. Oh, hey. hey. <laughs> when did you come back? A few minutes ago. No bites? Nope, no bites. Alright, so I have my solar panel here. Uh, Yardy, I believe is how it's pronounced. Charging my battery pack from Pax S. problem I had when I bought the solar panel comes with all these adapters and everything and I was like man it's got everything should adapt to whatever you want to charge laptops everything well when I got it it has a male end coming out of the solar panel and a male end to charge into the pack Cess. Um Nearly impossible for me to find two female end connectors. Uh, I've looked everywhere, went to Best Buy, looked online, could find two male end middle connectors to go to two female ends, but no two female ends. So I just went online and bought regular car chargers. Really cheap, I think it was like eight bucks a piece or something like that. And uh, just rigged it up myself, soldered it, and then taped it off. And it seems to be working well. Um, it's charging. So, I don't know, can you see that? But, uh, I charged it at home to see how long I, I drained out the Paxess, did a solar panel charge for almost 10 hours, I think, and I got up to three bars. So, um, I figure, you know, I am used it last night and it's down to three bars right now, so we should at least get a bar out of it today. Get it back up to full and be good to go. Um, we have a goal zero here that we're using, and I'm dropping stuff everywhere. Let's see here. To charge some of our other battery packs. And that way we have a couple battery packs that are already full to use for charging a phone or whatever you want to do to listen to music. Um, we don't have a signal out here, so you're not going to use your phone to call anybody or look at internet or anything like that, which is good and what we like. But um, it's always nice to you know play some music off your phone or something like that. So 
that's the deal. We'll see how this works. Um, really like it, even in the shade. It was interesting, we were back there, um, opened up the solar panel, like in the shade, and there must have been slight light coming through or something, but uh, the light was on right off the bat. Down here, you can probably see that light was on, saying that there was power coming, ready to get out of there, but uh, it was really weird, so I guess that's that's pretty good. So we'll see how it works.